All right, what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. I've got some serious explaining to do, all right? I have a confession to make and after the last video where we rode a roller coaster of emotions, I definitely upset some of you guys in the comments. Now some of you guys are thrilled about what we got going on on the channel, but I think I owe a little bit of a backstory as to why we made the decision we're doing. Now obviously I think a lot of you guys are invested into this car. We've got a ton of views on the recent videos of this flooded 135 build, but what a lot of you guys don't know is that I have six different BMW projects right now. I have an F80 M3, I've got three blue three 335s, three this is a 2008 sedan 335 then we've got a 2009 facelift 335 and this is a 2008 all-wheel drive coupe 335 and over here this is the beloved OG 135. For those of you who've been following the channel for a hot minute you know that this car is what originally started the channel and she's in need of a motor. You see, that car back there, it's making almost 800 wheel horsepower. And last year, I blew up the engine in it. So it's been sitting in the corner, we pulled the engine, it's been waiting for a new heart, and that's why the decision was so much easier to pull the motor, out of this 135 that only has 11,000 miles. That's right, we're gonna put the 11,000 mile motor into my OG 135 to get this thing back on the track and set in world records. Now initially that's why I bought this car. I shipped this thing up from Florida on the cheap because it's got a good engine, but the rest of the car is pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. The dash is lit up like a Christmas tree. It's leaking coolant from multiple different locations. So I've got it in here right now. The initial plan was to use this engine with 160,000 miles to fix that 135. However, immediately after buying this thing, we found the flooded 135 on Facebook. And that's when I knew it was too good to pass up. I needed to buy both and I would figure it out later. So this car was initially gonna be what I took the engine from and then LS swap this. I've been dying for some new content. I've been making N54 content for you guys since 2018, 2019. We've been doing N54 content forever and we're gonna continue to do N54 content. This car is gonna be making a comeback on the channel and if you guys like the flooded rebuild, you guys are gonna love what we start doing with this car again. I know you guys are mad that it's an 11,000 mile car, but the other things going on with it, could we fix? Yes. We would have to sink a lot of time, and we, we have Impa. I've been using Impa with Beamer Ben, Ben's coding service. He's been dialing in, trying to fix everything he can with that car off camera, and I'm not willing to continue to throw parts at it just to have another stock N54 powered car that could have electrical problems. So we figure best use of that car is to tear everything out, put an LS in, and have a really, really fun build series that's gonna give us an opportunity to grow the channel because we're doing something new out of the box. So the new plan for this car is to fix it up and probably resell it. It's got a lot of good parts, but it does need a solid weekend's worth of work and probably a couple thousand dollars if I'm being honest because I don't wanna sell something that I wouldn't give to a family member, so I'm gonna fix this thing up right and then probably relist it. So if you guys are interested in a sorted out N54 that is full bolt-ons, upgraded turbos, this thing will be hitting the market probably in the next week or two. Then that brings us over here. You know, this is a car that was on the channel for a little while and then disappeared for a bit. It's kind of my summer daily driver. The wife and I love this car. It's a beautiful, fun, fantastic car. Car. But again, we've got some mods for this. So in the middle of the rebuild of the OG car and the LS build on the flood car, we're probably gonna be sprinkling in some things for this car because I've got an exhaust for it, I've got full bolt-ons, everything we need to really crank the power up on these turbos. I'm curious how fast the stock S55 can be. And then you guys may not have seen this car on the channel. The only people that have seen this car on the channel were those who tuned into the live dock race intake manifold drawing because I teased this in that live stream. But I picked this thing up for super cheap and it's a beautiful car, fully optioned out, peanut butter interior. The only issue is the 
the injector ports got ovaled out. So one of the injector ports is ovaled out in the head and the guy thought that he would have to put a new head on it. But if you guys are aware, it can be repaired. There is a kit that I'm gonna try. I'll probably make a video on it. You essentially drill out the hole, put a time cert in, and then you're good to go. The injector will fit snug again. It is a repair that requires drilling into the head. I'm excited to try it out for the first time. So that car I'm gonna repair and either sell for a profit because I'm self-employed, I'm trying to make this YouTube thing work, and I'll take any dollar I can get. If you guys aren't aware, like YouTube doesn't pay a whole lot. So I'm either going to flip that car for a profit or replace this car. This has been on the channel. We built this thing up full bolt-ons. It's also a daily driver of ours. It might be time to swap this thing out. We've had it for many years. I don't know. You guys tell me, would you rather keep the coupe or the facelift sedan? So anyways, the flooded 135 is gonna be a fantastic candidate for an LS swap. With the Gremlins it has going on, it won't matter because we're stripping everything out of it and we're gonna make that thing a fast as fuck race car. Hopefully even faster than this 135. But the good side of that is we're using the engine, it will live on, it's gonna donate its heart to the OG car, which a lot of the original viewers of this channel have been missing out on. You guys have been loving this car, it's my favorite car. I cannot wait to drop that motor in it and get this thing back on the road and back to the track. And another thing I was getting ripped apart in the comments for was that transmission fluid and the cheap oil filter, the cheap oil. You guys gotta remember, in the back of our heads, the plan almost all along was that we were gonna take the engine from the flood car and use it to fix my OG 135. So we did not wanna spend a ton of money getting that thing on the road. We just wanted to get it limping down the road, see if it runs and drives, so that we knew the car functioned properly. You know, did it steer well? Did the suspension work? How did everything function before we invest a bunch of money into LS swapping it? That's really what we wanted to find out. So I know the trans fluid was cheap. I know it was the wrong stuff. I know the procedure was incorrect. We didn't care. We literally wanted to put a few miles on it before we got ready to LS swap this thing. So I appreciate the concern. I'm sorry if some of you guys thought that the build would be a little bit different, but given the channel and how much N54 content we've already had, it just makes sense for, for us to spread the wings. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm spreading my wings. We're gonna LS swap something. It's gonna be a fantastic time. For those of you who are like die hard BMW guys, these cars are just metal. These things are getting old. You can pick these things up as firsthand experience. I picked that thing up for 35 hundred bucks. I picked up the flood car for 2300 bucks. I picked up that white coupe out there for $1,800. These cars can be had for cheap. I don't need to restore them into the original condition because believe it or not, these cars can kind of be a dime a dozen at this point. At least I'm not ricing out a 335 with the burble mod and all that other junk. Anyways, Derek is on his way over so we can rip out the engine from the flood car and he has been a fantastic support system for the channel. He's been helping me wrench on stuff. He's been motivating me to edit and upload the videos. He's just been fantastic. So if you guys made it this far and you enjoy the videos you guys have been seeing, please drop a comment down below letting us know that Derek's killing it that you're enjoying the videos. And if you wanna to continue to support the channel, we are dropping some limited edition merch on the website. It's probably live by the time this video goes live, but I wanted some new designs out for the flood car because that's gonna be a wild build. And if you wanna support us, please, please, please check out the merch, all right? I love the support we've been getting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.